Hey guys, I've been sitting here all day trying to figure out what to talk. Oh my god, what is that? Backlit keyboard all the way! Woo, it's so intense! What does it mean? To do this project, you're going to need a couple things. The first thing that you'll need is some USB-powered electroluminescent wire, or L-wire for short. I got this for six bucks off eBay, so it's, it's not that much of an investment. The second thing that you'll need is a keyboard. Technically any keyboard will work, but the one I will be using has these convenient little USB ports at the top so I can plug in the L wire for it to work. Otherwise you'll have to wire it into the keyboard itself. You can also use a laptop keyboard for this project, but it's going to require a little bit more modding because by itself the L wire is too thick to fit underneath the keys, so you'll ha have to remove some of the keyboard backing in order for this to fit. Begin by flipping the keyboard over and removing all the screws that hold it together. This will allow you to remove the keyboard backing. Then remove the inside screws and the screws holding together the circuit board. This will then allow you to remove the internal circuitry of the keyboard. Then find the upper right hand corner of the keyboard. When it's flipped over it should be the corner just above the tilde key. You want to use a knife or a drill to cut a hole into this corner so you can then thread the L wire through the hole. You may need to remove the tilde key in order to completely thread the L wire through. Now comes the tricky part. We need to find a way to fit the transformer into the keyboard. For some of you, your keyboard may already have enough extra room for it. For me, I was able to remove one of the shortcut keys from the top of the keyboard using a Dremel, but you'll just have to see what type of extra room you have. After hot gluing it into place, I reassembled the keyboard and flipped it back over. Using a flathead screwdriver, start removing the keyboard keys. When taking them out, remember to place them in order somewhere else so that you don't forget where they go. Either that or snap a picture of the keyboard before continuing. Once you have all the keys removed, start zigzagging the L wire around the keys. You can hold the L wire into place by putting down dabs of hot glue every couple keys. After you've got it the way you want it, you can replace the keys and plug in the keyboard to see how it looks. Now you should just be able to plug it in and watch it light up. Of course it looks uh, much better in a dimly lit room. Stupid sunshine. Anyway, if any of you other guys want to give this a try, feel free to send me a video response or a link showing me what you've done. Also, I have a new YouTube channel that has answers to questions and behind the scenes looks at a lot of my new video tutorials. So feel free to check that out. And also be sure to check out my new Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.